everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Eliandra and welcome back to another speed build. Today we are building an autumnal modern farmhouse. So this is supposed to be an old farmhouse that was completely renovated into a living space. So it is now a family house and it is like very modern. It does not look like a barn house at all anymore. And I use a lot of season stuff and I use the new glass roofs and we made a gazebo and I think it turned out really, really nice. And I hope you guys like it. I've done a farmhouse build before. This was right before Cats and Dogs came out last year. I was doing a let's play and my character, my main character, she was brought up on a farm with like horses and cows and pigs and chickens and dogs, stuff like that. So I wanted to build a farm just so I could make a little machinima intro for my series, my let's play, which was a really nice let's play. I have finished it now, just recently actually, like a month or two ago, I finished it and it was a lovely let's play, but I built a farmhouse for that and that one was on a massive lot in Windenburg and it's like a massive big farmhouse like that one doesn't look like a barn it just looks like a farmhouse this one here looks like a barn and that one had like two floors and like five bedrooms or something I don't know and then that one I also built a stables I built different like pens for the chickens and pigs and then I did a little farm at the back so if you haven't seen that build you definitely should go check it out uh, I think it might be my most viewed build on my channel. I spent a lot of time on it, so I'm really glad you guys liked it. Um, but yeah, I wanted to build another one, and today we are on a smaller lot. We are still in Windenburg, and we are actually in autumn now in my game. I wanted to use autumn since I haven't built in autumn before. I've just been using spring until now. I want to do a wintery build, so let me know what kind of winter build you'd like to see. But today we are in autumn, which means it's kind of it's kind of dark and like it's not the nicest weather. It is clear skies in The Sims right now, but it still seems a bit darker than in the summer. And the ground is kind of like brownish green. It's not the prettiest, but you know I wanted to build in autumn, so I did. At least the trees are pretty in my opinion and this is um ooh, how big is this law I feel like it might be 30 by 40 and it is in Wiedenburg like I said but it's not massive but basically the house is gonna be small but I just wanted there to be a lot of space to have your farm because it is supposed to be a farmhouse or a barn or whatever you want to call it so it's gonna have not those four but it's gonna have four different areas for your crops so definitely like a farmer family still lives here even though it is completely modernized and the building is like ultra modern from the inside. I think they're still into like the gardening and farming and they definitely grow some crops here. And I just built a little casino. I moved it around. I decided I wanted to have it at the back as well. And then here are the four different crop areas. I'm gonna do them right in the end, just fill them out to make them look like your sims are farming or growing something there. I don't actually put like, um, like any actual like vegetables or flowers that you can grow in the sims in there because I'm pretty sure my sim would, I would have had to take a sim and then have her go and plant every single one of them and then water them, wait for them to grow for it to look any good. So I just use some random plants from just the plants category that we have in uh, build mode. But you definitely could, instead of doing that, plant actual things here. And like, oh my God, some like apple trees or something like that would look totally adorable. So if you want to build here, sorry, if you want to play here, <laughs> you can definitely replace those with actual crops because I did put a few planting pots around the gazebo but I didn't do that many like actual planting places so this would be a great area to actually grow your crops. I don't know like I honestly didn't even think about that while I was building. I just thought about it now. It would have taken me a long time so I didn't have time to do that. <laughs> this video is going out really late today again. I'm really sorry but um yeah, I've, I've been busy. It's my cat's birthday today. So we have three cats. Um, two of them were originally mine and one of them was my boyfriend's cat. Um, I got my cats from the shelter 
and I think they were found in like a forest or something without their mommy when they were tiny little kittens and I think their mom must have been a stray cat or something must have happened to her or something I don't know but they found the kittens and they took them to the shelter so obviously we don't know the actual date that they were born because when they found them they must have already been like I don't know a week or so at least old but so yeah, I don't know the original or the actual birthday for my cats, but I know around the time when they were born. And then my boyfriend's cat was actually like almost the exact same age. He got his cat from, I don't know, I think he was just some lady whose cat had babies and she was selling them. I don't really know <laughs> what happened there. My boyfriend got um, his cat Merlin before we actually met. So I wasn't there. I wasn't there to know what happened, but they have pretty much the same birthday. So we decided to celebrate all three of their birthdays on the same day, which is the 30th of June. So <laughs> today was a cat birthday and um yeah we bought that we bought them a lot of toys and I've just been playing with them all day and just like spoiling them because they are my little babies. Literally my girlies, my girl cats, they're literally like my children. <laughs> like I love them so much. They're the best things ever. Oh my god yeah but they're four years old now so happy birthday to my cats. <laughs> Sorry this video is late that is possible of the reason and the other part is that I'm actually um addicted to Fortnite. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I don't know, I've never played shooter games before. Well I have actually I played Uncharted, which is a PlayStation game, but it's more of a story game. It doesn't have that much to do with shooting, but I've never played like FPS games. And suddenly I'm addicted to Fortnite. I love watching people play it. Like I watch that on Twitch all the time and some YouTube videos as well, but I I don't know this weekend and like this week I have just wanted to play non-stop I don't know what it is <laughs> I've actually gotten like a little bit better like I'm still a total noob I'm really bad I've only won once but I've actually gotten a bit better and like when you notice improvement you want to keep doing it so <laughs> yeah sorry sorry uh yesterday yesterday's video there was no video yesterday that was not because of Fortnite that was because I had to adult all day yesterday I had to just, I was on the phone literally all day. I called five different places and I was on hold and I was waiting for calls back. So really did not get a chance to do any recording. I was also waiting for a package to be delivered and lovely UPS driver did not knock on the door or ring the doorbell or call my phone. So yeah, I had to go pick that up because they just texted me. Um, we couldn't deliver your package because no one was home. Excuse me, I was home all day. <laughs> it's so annoying. So yeah, I picked that up. I got some new headphones. I'm gonna show, you, show them to you guys at some point. They are really awesome blue um, satellite hef headphones. So I'm really excited about those. But yeah, sorry for no videos today. It was just because I was adulting all day. <laughs> that is literally a term that I use for just doing really boring adult stuff like your taxes or insurance or something like that. So so yeah, it's, it's no fun being on the phone literally all day. But hey, talking about the build, we're doing the inside. It's not a big build. It has two bedrooms, one bathroom. And like I said, the inside is very modern. As you can see, I've gone for a black and white color scheme for a lot of the stuff but I definitely wanted to add some color in I didn't feel like there was any point in making it just black and white I didn't feel like it would suit whatever family would live here so we do have a lot of green in the living room and then we have some yellow here in the kitchen and upstairs is a little bit more colorful the dining room is like right where you come in it's kind of small it's by the stairs it's okay and then the living room is really nice it's obviously in that like new addition to this barn so that is kind of like they added another wing to this house which is completely glossed so it's a really cool area the light looks so pretty there and I even used the new massive rug that looks like an avocado to me so I'm using a lot of new stuff from seasons I definitely tried to do that and I tried not to use every single pack I didn't check how many I ended up using in the end but I tried to just use like the main packs which to me obviously are the expansions and then there are a few like must-have game packs like Parenthood that I used a lot I also used a lot of jungle adventure in this I don't know I just 
feel like it had a lot of great stuff that went here perfectly and then yeah the kitchen is at the back I really like it I think it turned out really cozy and cute and it has a little breakfast table dining table in there if you want to eat there just two seater and there's a bar and there's actually no tv in this build I just didn't feel like like you guys saw the living room, there was no wall to put the TV on and I really liked the setup that I had with the couches on both sides. So there's no TV, I'm sorry you guys. There is um a computer in here in the parents' bedroom and there's a tablet in the kids' bedroom. So I'm sure your Sims will find something to do, right? <laughs> I don't know, I hope so. This is the master bedroom, this is the parents' room. Again, using a lot of the new stuff. It's, it's pretty basic. I really like the new painting that I used there on top of the bed. I also used it downstairs on top of the little table in the kitchen. And this room just has um, your bed, a little seating area by the dresser, and then the computer desk. This is the only one in the whole house. I definitely don't think these are the kind of people who would live here who would spend a lot of time indoors. I think they would be very outdoorsy people, you know, gardening and farming and maybe playing with their pets outside. I did put a pet bowl in here and a little uh, pet bed as well. I also added the new flower arranging table, still don't remember what it's called, but that thing that came from Seasons is outside in the gazebo and I actually added the little bee houses, the little beehive things, I don't know what they're called, I actually don't remember, but you guys know what I mean. Sims Fall Seasons came with beekeeping and I haven't used that in a build yet, so that is outside, so your Sims can take care of the bees as well, so I feel like there's a lot to do even though there's no TV or I like only one computer but maybe they don't believe in electronics that much I don't know <laughs> this room I don't know I struggled with it a little bit because I don't know the color scheme and just the layout wasn't the best I don't know it's just where the computer desk is it just was bugging me a little bit but there's also a bookshelf I think it turned out okay I added some random shelves here to just add a little bit of more something into this room and then in the hallway in the middle I'm gonna be putting a chess table there because I could not think of anything else to put there I could have put a bookshelf but we already had a bunch of them so there's a chess set if you want to play some chess that's something to do that isn't doesn't have anything to do with electronics by the way I use the curtains that are from my first pet stuff but I'm pretty sure that is the only thing I use from that pack so if you don't have my first pet stuff don't worry, you can use any other curtains. I just really like the curtains that came with that pack. They are really great, really modern and simple, and they have come in great colors. So pretty much use them everywhere. I just realized, did I put a curtain in the bathroom? Because that is like the one room where I should have put a curtain. And I feel like I forgot. Maybe I did. <laughs> I feel like I didn't. <laughs> oh my God, I forgot a curtain in the bathroom. That is pretty bad. You definitely want one because you have massive windows in here. But yeah, this is um this is the bathroom. I think it turned out really, really nice. Again, going with the black and white color scheme with a little bit of blue in there in the tiles and in the shower. And then I'm adding in just a little bit of decorations. The new nice bathroom shelf that came from Seasons and these towels as well. And the mirror, which is my new go-to mirror, new favorite mirror. It is so beautiful. I love Love it very much. Oh, and this rug is also from Seasons. I thought it fit in there really well. And nope, I did not put in the curtain. Girl, what am I doing? <laughs> Anyways, this is um the kids' room. So I think this could be for a two teens, two kids, or a teen and a kid. Like, why not? I don't know why I always do rooms that are like, this is the kids' room and this is the teenager's room. When like a lot of families would have the kids and the teenagers possibly sharing a room so that's what I did here this could be for a girl and a boy or two girls as well one of the beds and like the side of the room is a bit more girly the other side is this blue side so I feel like it could definitely be for a boy as well but the other one also has like flowers on the bed curtains so it's a bit girly but I really like the color scheme in this room. It's really light, 
kind of like neutral with light blues and light pink and green and it's just it's really nice to look at it's actually like really pleasing to my eye this whole color palette so yeah you have a little desk in here to do your homework and like I said you've got a tablet in here and then you have a toy chest so if, if your sim is a kid they have at least some toys in here because I definitely could not fit that much in like I said it's not a big house this like turned out a bit bigger than what I planned I didn't I didn't plan to build in like this big of a lot but then I just kind of went went with it and I added a lot of those like farming areas outside so yeah I, I plan to build a tiny little modern farmhouse but it turned out a little bit bigger than I planned but still not big at all <laughs> nothing compared to that massive farmhouse that I built um last year was it last year oh my god did cats and dogs come out last year it must have did it come out in like November <gasps> that's crazy that's like not that long ago, but it was still last year. It's only June, <gasps> June now. It's actually 1st of July tomorrow, which is kind of exciting. But yeah, anyways, <laughs> uh, we're just adding in some little like posters and stuff in this room. I really like um, the posters I put here by the girly bed and then the ones I put by the more neutral bed. So it kind of like the room is shared a little bit between the two kids, um, whether they're a boy or a girl or a teen or a child, doesn't matter. But I really like that room. I would like that room for myself as well. And I remember to add in a bin. I forgot that earlier. And we do add in um, a food bowl for the dog or possibly a cat. There is no litter box or a scratching post, but you can definitely fit those in if you would like to have a cat in here. Here, or two cats I don't know but you can have dogs for sure because dogs don't need a lot I forgot to put a toy chest anywhere for the pets but dogs only need a food ball literally they can sleep on the floor and then they just need like interaction with your sim like playing with them and taking them on walks so in the sims dogs don't need as much stuff as cats but in real life cats are so much easier to take care of than dogs like literally you're supposed to walk your dog like two or three or four times a day, um, which is a lot of work. I We used to have a dog, as you guys might know. We had a family dog for 13, 14, 15 years. Oh my God, I don't even know. Yeah, 15 years, I just counted. She just she just passed away this year. She was, she was absolutely lovely. So yeah, I grew up with a dog. And yeah, dogs do take a lot of work with like, they need a lot of attention. And as I said, they need a lot of walking. But cats, cats, cats just need food. <laughs> I mean, of course, some cats love attention. My cats, they all need our attention all the time. One of our cats especially is extremely needy. <laughs> but cats just need food. Lots of cats don't mind being on their own. And you know, you can just give them some toys and they will play with them on their own. So yeah, cats are a lot easier to take care of than dogs, but I prefer cats to dogs as well. But in The Sims, cats are a little bit more high maintenance. Oh yeah, you do need to clean their litter box. That is one thing. Unless you have an outdoor cat and they will just use, you know, the litter box or whatever, use the nature <laughs> outside for to do their business. But if you have an indoor cat, then yeah, there is that thing, cleaning the litter box. But I would still say cleaning the litter box is easier than walking the dog three times a day. <laughs> Anyways, we're kind of just like doing the outdoorsy bits now. I just did the little gazebo. So in there you have the flower arranging table and then just a little seating area with the side table in the middle that has like a little fire pit in it. It's, it's really weird or like, I don't know how to, how to um, describe it, but it has like like light coming from the middle. It's like a little fireplace. Then I'm just doing a bunch of landscaping and adding a bunch of these lanterns around the lot. I think lanterns are really cute to bring in some light when it's nighttime. And then here we go, just filling in this farm area with random plants from the like plants category. I think it turned out really cute. I do use pumpkins as well, just for one of the patches because I don't know, I thought they were cute. So you can get pumpkins if you have the spooky stuff, stuff pack, and then you have to use the cheat code bb.showhiddenobjects and then you can 
find them in the clutter category. So I got some pumpkins from there and I'm gonna put them in here in the last one, in the middle. This is not supposed to be like a pumpkin patch or anything like that, but it is autumn. So I thought I should put some pumpkins in here. I do use some decorational pumpkins as well in the end, um, just around the lot a little bit. And I also found the leaf piles in one of the clutter categories after I used the show hidden objects cheat. So I did actually put a few leaf piles around. I also pulled out Patchy. So I believe the scarecrow is called Patchy. I haven't played with it yet, but I put that in one of the little farm areas. I thought that would be fun. And I'm using the sprinklers. So those are kind of there to water your plants. Obviously those are very handy, but those plants that I put down don't require any watering. But if you do change them up to real plants that your sims can grow, then the sprinklers will come in very handy and then in over here we added the little bee houses three of them just so just to make it look cute pretty much and next to it i added the little fire pit thingy <laughs> i don't remember what pack it's from but maybe like altars or treat or something but your things can sit around it and like roast some marshmallows or some sausages or something like that so I thought that would be a cute fall thing to do. It's quite late by the way at the moment here, so if my voice sounds really weird or if I'm saying really silly sentences, that is why. It's, it's gotten a bit late. I didn't manage to finish this build until just recently <laughs> and it's so late, so I'm sorry, but I definitely wanted to get this out today because tomorrow obviously is gonna be another part of high school click, so, and yesterday I already missed the video, so <laughs> just apologies if I messed up any sentences or words I'm gonna play the fact that it's really late but hey here you go the build is done small modern farmhouse with a bunch of farm areas I think it turned out really cute the house shape is really simple but I really like the added wing to it that is completely glassed with a roof one with the beams on top of it and then the glass walls and I really like the interior I think it turned out really cozy but really modern at the same time Time and I would love to live here. And I would love for you guys to tell me in the comments what kind of sims you think would live in here or if you have the perfect family to use this house for. This house will be in the gallery if you want to download it under my username, which is Eliandra YT or under the hashtag Eliandra. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new here. I post new sims videos pretty much every single day. I hope you guys enjoyed. What else should I build with seasons? Let me know in the comments and thank you so much for watching i hope you're having a wonderful day and i'll see you again tomorrow bye this